Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I want to come on here really quickly and share how I'm going to be removing the chain from the Louis Vuitton Emprunt Clay. I love this item and I often end up using it as a wallet, but the chain drives me crazy. I already have an Emprunt Noir one that I ended up removing the chain and it was the best decision I ever did. Uh, but I just wanted to forewarn you guys uh, that I consider these forever items, so that's why I am taking off the chain. In the event that you want to get it repaired or something happens to it and you have to take it into the store, I have been told by a few different sales associates that if you go to take it in for the repair, they will actually end up denying it because you are altering the item. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind. So I say if you decide to do this, do it at your own discretion. I just wanted to share how I am removing it because like I said, this item isn't going absolutely anywhere. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I wanted to bring out the Emprunt Clay in the Noir just to give you guys an idea of uh, how it looks after I take off the chain. Uh, there it is. Hopefully it's focusing in okay. I think I took off the chain, or we took off the chain, what was it, maybe like a year and a half ago? Two years? Yeah, about there. About there. Uh, and it's worked out perfectly. So here is the cerise. And as you can see, the chain is still attached. I decided to hot stamp it before I was going to alter it. Not that you need to get it hot stamped before you decide to do something to your item. Um, I asked the sales associate and she said it wouldn't have been an issue. I just figured I wanted to get it done beforehand just in case, just as a precaution. And um, that way I don't have to worry about, you know, what if someone says, oh, we can't do it because you decided to alter the item or anything like that. So I decided to get it hot stamped uh, and I have, uh, I opted for two little hearts and an M. I just thought it looked really nice. Uh, but here is the chain and this guy has got to go. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me show you guys uh, what Robert is going to be using to remove the, the chain. Um, it's going to be these two multi-tools uh, and he actually decided to put uh, tape on over the, the little ridges just in case that way it doesn't, you know, for for whatever reason I decided to put the chain back on that way I don't have ridges or it doesn't end up uh, scratching, scratching the, the brass hardware or anything like that. So he put that on there just as a precaution uh, and hopefully it ends up working out okay. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, be careful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go on this side so I can zoom in. You want, do you need me to hold it open? Uh, I think I can get it. Let's see how this goes. So you're just pulling them open, right? Holding one with the other and put, pulling on the other one? Trying to. Want me to hold it? Might have to go a little bit wider. Nope, there you go. That's it? That was it. And done? Done. So you split this ring. Well, it was already split open, uh, crimped together and just spread it apart. Pull, so then pop it off the triangle. You just hold one. Pull with the other. Pull with the other. And then you decided to just put this on just as a precaution, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't scratch or anything right. like that. I mean, you are going to scratch a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. As you can see, there's a little triangle right there, and what he was doing is he was holding the triangle with one uh, with one multi-tool and then pulling with the other, so that way he can take off this little guy right here. So this little ring, let me bring it up as close as I can. Uh, it has a little bit of roughness to it just from him pulling it apart, uh, but not too bad. And like I said before, this is a forever item for me, so I'm not going to use the chain anyways. Uh, so this is just going to go into you know into a like a little pouch or what have you, so I'm not too worried about it. But in the event that you would want to put this back on, it would just be it would be just as easy to be able to crimp that back on as if you would with you know any any little keychain that uh, that you have. And there you go. There's a the little triangle. There is no roughness on there whatsoever. Uh, and I know I could take needle nose pliers to take that off completely, uh, but it doesn't bother me. So all I will do is just pretty much pop it open or pop it down like that but it doesn't get in the way kind of like this chain does this chain definitely gets in the way whenever I want to use this as a wallet 
Uh, but there we go. So now I have <laughs> two matching uh, clays with the chain removed and it ended up working out perfectly. I'm sure there's other ways that you can end up removing it, uh, but this is the system that worked out for us last time. Uh, I think last time you used needle nose pliers, Same right? Same ones. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, but then you decided to put this on just in case because last time he didn't have that on whatsoever uh, And it didn't damage the item either um, But yeah, so that's what we did. That's how it ended up working out <laughs> Simple way it took what all of seemed like two seconds mm -hmm. to pop it off All right, you guys so that does it for the removal of the chain on the Louis Vuitton Enfront clay I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure and give it a thumbs up If you haven't already and you would like to please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell So you're notified when I upload videos which is anywhere from two to three times a week And like I said before I prefer to use it without the chain because it gets in the way plus I can end up fitting a lot more items inside So thank you so much for watching and as always make it a fabulous day or not the choice is yours. Have a great day you guys